All right, so I'm going to continue where I picked, or I'm going to pick up from where I left off with questioning Melody and answering machine Act One. So it wants me to go to the Wave Rider. So this is where Kevin got rid of the knife. Paimon thinks it's time to get wet. Could be, but Curve can't go into Wander, unfortunately, and I need to stay here with him. Sorry, guess it's all up to you. You know what? We've already met a robot dog, and he could swim. Paimon guesses Curve isn't that advanced. How dare you suggest Curve is less advanced than a dog? He's just not feeling very well. What was the dog's name, anyway? When Curve is better, we'll have a competition and see who wins. Whoa, someone's being unnecessarily competitive. In my humble opinion, we should be looking for evidence. Never mind, let's go diving, Traveler. We need clues. Okay, so first, I'm gonna grab this. That's the thing. Oh, there's another one over there. It'd be so weird if it was under this rock. Ooh! This is nice, though. It's a nice little hidey hole for resources. Just one back, I guess. And kill some of these things along the way.
telecord curve. We've got the knife. Here, take a look. Huh? This could match up with the notch on the pedestal, but it's just an ordinary table knife. Why would any criminal carry one like that? Or maybe they ate at a restaurant and stole a knife there, then dropped it at the scene of the crime? I give your deduction skill one, one point out of a hundred of a thousand. I was gonna say a hundred, but that's not a hundred. Uh, relevant information retrieved. A month ago, the Steamburg exposed case of fraud involving the Elegant Taperware Conferee. The Elegant Taperware Conferee. Oh, I remember that. A knife like this was part of the evidence gathered. Ha! Huh. They must be responsible. There you go again with the must be responsible. Really, we can head back to the office and confirm it. We've got enough time left already. Huh? I thought you two weren't really investigators. Can you really check up on the other cases? Okay, I guess you're kind of friends now, so I'll tell you. I'm an evidence clerk with the Merchant's Phantom. As such, getting a piece of evidence from the stores is easy peasy. A what? Is that even a job? So, curve is... Evidence, indeed. Wow, the evidence is running around solving cases? And why not? We aren't even evidence. You aren't even evidence, but you're doing the same. But didn't Editor-in-Chief Ferris say something about Curve being remotely operated? She was helping maintain Curve's cover. She seemed to know his story, which is that he's a lie-detecting robot. That's hard to believe. How come Paimon's ever heard of something like that, something that incredible? Because he's been stuck in the evidence storeroom. Curve was a vital piece of evidence in a case dating back 30 years ago. Or 30 years. Oh, so you are secretly investigating that shocking crime to identify the true perpetrator. As if my life's that exciting, I just got bored and decided to take Curve out for a walk. And that's it? Curve, what do you think? Bio dead and only identified. Ancient telecard chard, you are lying. Oh, Traveler, I was just saying I was starting to like you, and now you're using the Maso Masos Protocols loopholes against me. And the what protocols now? You mentioned those earlier or something, didn't you? My great creator, Dr. Masso, added some rules to my core programming to ensure the accuracy of my lie detection. Those rules require me to answer all questions with complete accuracy and honesty. So you can detect a lie, but not tell one. And if someone asks you a question, you're obligated to answer it. Correct, Miss Paimon. What clever rules? So this is Maso guy, some top of scientists at the Fontaine Research Institute? He was a top scientist until he passed away. He died 30 years ago and Curve became evidence. He died? How? Relevant information retrieved. Dr. Massa died in a duel attempting to prove his innocence after a court found him guilty. Why was he found guilty? Relevant information retrieved. 30 years ago. Stop, stop, stop. You're, you keep asking questions and if you keep asking questions, Curve has to keep answering them. Our party should be finding Sir Arthur, Editor-in-Chief Affairs will be too upset to eat if he don't if we don't find him. Paimon finds that unlikely. Well well anyways, Curve and I are going to see what we can find out about the knife. Let's meet first let's meet first thing tomorrow at the Palace Mermonia. Mer if I can say the word. But Paimon's so curious, couldn't you indulge her this once? Well indulge you tomorrow. How about we make you a delicious breakfast? Oh breakfast? Okay, looking forward to it already. Hee <laughs> hee See you tomorrow morning, then. Okay, they've gone. Paimon can't help but feel there's something going on their end, though. Best not stick your nose into other people's lives. Yeah, it's been a busy day. We should go get some rest. We'll meet them at the Palace Mermonia tomorrow. Alright, let's fast forward time a bit. Wait, what time did it say to meet up at? Eight. Okay. I actually meant to do a little further and I didn't at the oops. There we go. I wonder what There we go. And take it this is gonna be act two. Yep, Act 2. <laughs> hmm. 
Morning. Morning. Good morning. Morning. Hey, Teletard. How come there's no desk in here? There just isn't. We don't need desks for our work, anyway. And this bench is awesome. Look, it has comfy cushions. Sit down, quick. Come try the delicious breakfast I made for you. Whoa, thanks, Teletard. But what is this? It smells a little... odd? That's my special, Poisson Champ Pie. It's even tastier than the usual recipe. It does smell odd, but that's why it's special. You've piqued Paimon's interest. What about you, Traveler? Curve, what do you think? Now, the Sasquatch's composition indicates eating this could be a difficult trial. Awesome, we're real tough cookies. <laughs> then let's dig in. You and Paimon wolf down a half portion of the odd-smelling pie. Half an hour later, you both come back from outside, clutching your bellies. Just where did you disappear to? If you're still hungry, there's more. I made lots. Uh, thanks, Cal Tell... Tallow chard. No need, though. Primo just went for a quick rest. And there's still some pie left. Uh, Traveler, why don't we box it up for later? Um, your expressions... Wasn't it tasty? I thought I did a good job. Perhaps you're tough enough. Primo knows why they call it Poisson Champ Pie now. The Poisson are in Paimon's guts, chanting, We want to swim back out! <laughs> huh? Oh, that sounds absolutely awful. I'm so sorry. Oh, don't worry about it. Paimon's better already. Anyway, the problem is Paimon's preferences, not your cooking. Back to business. Did you get any info about the knife? Oh, right. Paimon forgot we're supposed to be working now. Okay, so about that. We did find something that might be useful. This knife is... This is a knife from the Elegant Tableware Confere. The people who sold, said Rocher owes them money? Yeah, they masquerade as a legitimate business, claiming their tableware is favored by Fontaine's upper classes and can be sold for hefty sums. People like Rocher often fall for it. They pay a fee to join and get a pile of lousy tableware in return. Then they try to sell it for enough to make back their initial investment, and then some. But the tableware itself is unsolvable junk, so the victims have no choice but to find their fools to pass the baton to. I hear they call it expanding their downline network. Sounds pretty familiar. See, humans are creatures full of lies. But it seems like Rocher didn't expand his downline network. In terms of ethical human relations, Mr. Rocher is more to see the level of the average person. He didn't continue to bring in more victims. Oh, so maybe his wife isn't the worst judge of character. But his financial acume is way, way below the average. In the end, his poor wife had to deal with the fallout and took the losses. Ah, that's true. But weren't they exposed by the paper? Can you guys track down the money and help them recover their losses? Our colleagues got involved some time ago and made multiple arrests, but the ringleader is a crafty one and immediately claimed that the perpetrators of the scam were temporary employees. Most importantly, he kept all their accounts completely separate. As a result, recovering the losses has proven extremely difficult. Is there nothing you can do about it? Hehe, <laughs> we can push things forward today. I got the location of their possible hideout, and I'll be investigating it later. Whoa, you found their lair! Hmm. The Merchant's Phantom is more capable than you think. Considering the facts of this case, I now have reason to believe that Sir Arthur was stolen by the elegant tapeware confrere. Although it does sound very likely, it's best if you don't act so certain of it. Hmm. We'll know once we get there. Let's go. Do 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 down here. That's what it says.
just gave me tiny little pearls. That, that's messed up. Paimon, in what terms are you referring this to? Because that depends upon the race. We're right here. Let's see. Sure allow them in here. What should we do? Charge in? Beat them up? Make them confess? Don't be so violent, Paimon. They're already frightened and on edge. They might destroy the evidence if we give them another scare. Hmm, that's true. Then let's sneak in. Find the evidence and beat them up. Do we have to beat them up? Well, it's such a small place, so a fight isn't available anyways. Fine, then this is possible to distract them. Is it possible to distract them? There must be something here that we can use. Curve, hide and wait for us here. You're too big not to get spotted. Just come over once we're done. As you wish. Let's hurry up and figure out how to lure them away. It's only gonna work. And the explosives would totally work. pot has chicken legs in it. Is someone cooking? How about adding in some seasoning to put them to sleep after the meal? Or we could do something else to drive them away. A, a nice idea. Check your bag for anything useful. S seasoning by Traveler. <laughs> Let's do it. Wow, Paimon has a feeling that it'll be super effective. Hey, how could you put that in there? It's an insult to my culinary talents. Don't be mad, Telechard. Your cooking might end up making a very significant contribution here. But I'm almost certain they won't be able to overcome the trial of toughness it poses. Really? Then, fine. Let's hide and watch what happens. Once chow time is shouted, the entire elegant table confrey starts gulping down the food with the extra seasoning. It doesn't take long before, one by one, several changes begin to appear on their faces, and then they start running towards the exit with their hands clutching their stomachs. See, Tal Talachard? They're experiencing the power of Poisson Champ Pie, just like I said. Huh, I'm incredible. I'll get 
go get Curve. Now we can search for evidence to our heart's content. All right. An archaic clockwork locket. It seems quite old. What's this? Looks like it's open. There's a photo in there. Who is she? Dedibus responding, Dedibus responding, Dedibus responding. Tell to retrieve information. Retrieval failed. Curve, your database wouldn't respond without having relevant information, right? Did water get inside you? Hmm, let's put this away for now. I'll let Curve take a look later. Old locket. After getting the boot from the Order of the Fruit, I was really down in the dumps. Luckily, I have joined a new group, so I'm feeling a little better. This new group's operations are a little different from the last ones. Anyways, let's go, intrepid Volberry. Okay. Uh-oh. His court is malfunctioning, which is not good. Okay. An overwhelming amount of tableware is scattered all over the table in a messy yet charming pile that's ripe for the taking. A table knife? A table knife's just like the one left outside the steam bird. Must be them. Oh, do they come back? Who cooked this guy? Blech. Who cooked today? Kill? Blech. Find him and kill him. Bo boss. Ugh. Boss, I'll immediately... Ugh. I'll go find the cook. Hmm. This agent right here is today's chef. So who's going to kill me? Marcia's phantom agents? How did ugh, how did you get in here? I don't think you've got time to worry about that right now. We've obtained evidence of your crimes. Evidence, but officer, all of them were temporary workers, and didn't you arrest them already? We're working on another case right now. All of you are suspects in a plot to get revenge against the Steambird for stealing Sir Arthur. The paper I impossible. I've never held any grudges toward them. In fact, I even want to thank them for pointing out the flaws in our business model. You're good with words, but what will you do once we show you this? Nice. Oh, dang it, that's not it. What were you going to show? Do you have any evidence? Not the knife? Is it that? Oh, this one. See? Director 42 admitted it in their diary. Busted! You fool! Didn't I tell you to keep a low profile for now? But, boss! Are we supposed to just lie down and take it when they're bullying us like this? The Marcius Phantom, officer, with all due respect, this fool is just a temporary employee. He hasn't even passed his probation period. Since he's suspected of breaking the law and committing a crime, I have no choice but to fire him in the spirit of justice. Hey, how much longer are you planning on using that same old trick? Fire me? Why? B boss, didn't you say earlier that I'm the only one who has always been loyal to you? Who are you? What are you talking about? You're fired. We have nothing to do with each other from now on. Take him away, honored agents. He's all yours. Boss, you... You betrayed me. Ugh. You dirty double-timing dog. I'll take you down with me. <laughs> and now we got a fight on our hands. Let's get this show on the road. Opening box of Adepti Tricks. Gather! Cue the spotlight! <laughs> Oh, 
Ouch, you pulled the ring, idiot. How dare you go against me? You filthy traitorous mutt. You can't stop me. Alright, alright. That's enough. Just play nicely now, would you? Hey, redhead. Hurry up and fess up. Where's Sir Arthur? Hey, cut it out. Short, shorty, I'm not on your side either, unless you're willing to do me a favor. Help me convict this treacherous backstabber thief for, of a felony and make the rest of his life a living hell. Then I'll try my best to cooperate with you. Huh. Nurse's Phantom never negotiates with criminals. But with the evidence that we already have, the quality of the life of his won't be too different from what you are hoping for. Huh? Don't do that. So, are you going to come clean now? Alright, fine. I'll tell you everything. I didn't actually take Sir Arthur. I know it's strange, but someone got it to it before me. So I just stuck the knife there as a warning. Huh? It wasn't there. You're lying, right? Hurrying, hurry, you got this, Curve. It's your time to shine. No anomalies detected, Mr. Intrepid Volberry's data. What? It really wasn't this redhead. I... So, did you see anything at the scene? I saw a really smelly drunk laying on the ground, just like that, uh, Dutter Rocher. All I wanted was to stay well away from him. Then it's Rocher, right? Is there no one else? There was three people there. There was Rocher, there was the boy, and there's Volberry. There's a fourth person that we're missing. Even if there's nobody, you're going to have to give us someone. You cut short the trail we were following, and you're going to have to keep respo take responsibility for it. Now, you're just making things difficult for me. You can do it, Mr. Intrepid Volberry. You even fought back against your own boss. Fine, you're right. Let me think it over for a moment. Um, Director 42, can I say something? What? Do you have any leads? N no, I don't. Then just wait a minute. Can't you see I'm racking my brains right now? Ah, I've got it. I just remembered something. I went to the Fleur de Sundor, Sundre in search of a locksmith because I needed their help to break into the paper's office that night and wreak havoc. But wouldn't you know I ran to someone there who was also trying to find a way to sneak into the paper. Who was it? What was their name? I don't know, but he was just like a member of the Fatui. The Fatui? Them again? Justice may be absent, but the Fatui never are. And what did he do after that? How would I know? I'm not some sewer stalker. This time I'm certain he's the one who stole Sir Arthur. Oh, but every certainty of yours has been wrong so far. It's certainly different this time. Don't you remember? There were four pairs of footprints at the scene, so there were four suspects at most. The Fatui is the fourth suspect. What if it isn't him? Hey, don't look down on me. I'll bet my uniform on it, alright? If I'm wrong again, I'll quit and stay home. Calm down, alright? Let's not be too hasty. Hey, Redhead, can you find that guy? Why don't you just try your luck in the Fleur of I've seen him there on more than one occasion. Did the boss just run away? Someone dressed as a Fatui in the Fleur Sandre. If he really is there, he won't be difficult to spot. Alright, let's do that. We'll take these criminals back first and hover to Fleur Sandre. Don't forget your promise. You better convict the two-timing traitor. Put him to, pin him to the wall. Don't worry, neither of you is going anywhere. Huh, wait, where is he? Where did this boss... I made a comment about him fucking running... He was here, just, he was just here a moment ago. Um, well, he snuck off in that direction while you were distracted. What? Why didn't you say something sooner? Well, I wanted to, but you kind of stopped me, didn't you? That sneaky conniving... Darn it, he knew his life would be living hell, so he fled? Hey, how about you let me go and get him for you? Let you go? What do you think, Curve? Based on my analysis of Mr. Valley's day, he's telling the truth. Then get going, redhead. Don't disappoint us. Huh, <laughs> don't worry. I'll give you my word as a man. Really? Are we really going to let him go just like that? What's wrong with that? If someone deceives another, shouldn't we support the victim in getting their revenge? I know what it's like to feel angry after being tricked. Oh, Curve, you should be taking note on this. As you wish, I record the payroll and f physical data of everyone involved in my lie learning module. Then let's stop wasting time here. Our primary ob ob objective is to take the others back to the Mercer's Phantom and then get to the Fleuve Sandre. 
You escort the criminals back to the Mishra's Phantom, and without a moment's rest, you immediately rush to the Thos Sundry, the hunting grounds of the other suspect. Whew. This one's a little bit longer, because stuff happened. Alright, so I'm gonna have to end the... Oops. I'm gonna have to end this part of the questioning Melusine, Melusine Answering Machine Act 2. So that's gonna be it for now, and I'll see you guys later!